If you have a PLC5 or SLC500 program you would like to import into RS Logix 5000, look no further than Rockwell's free translate PLC5 SLC 2.0 utility. This utility can save you hundreds of hours of manually re-entering code, and is available free of charge from the public Rockwell Tech. Rockwell has also written an entire manual around converting PLC5 and SLC500 programs to compact logics and control logics. In fact, if you're going to use the Translate PLC5 SLC 2.0 utility, I highly recommend you read this manual in full. You can find Rockwell's converting PLC5 or SLC500 logic to LOGIX5550 logic reference manual. Now I will walk you through converting a SLC500 file to a compact logic step by step. Rockwell has released a new version of this tool with additional features. To get the latest version, Search the below website for RS Logics Project Migrator. And there's nothing I could buy you But yeah, you see the thing is Writing a love song's kinda hard How would I start like I met you at a bar Or how I felt the first time that I saw you Or mention I was nervous the first time that I called you See it's not as easy as it looks I'm coming up with nothing except where to throw the hook Assuming you've used the above link to download and install the Translate PLC5 SLC 2.0 utility, and launch it. Step 2, when the program opens you'll see the window pictured below. In this example we are going to convert a SLC500 slash RS Logix 500 program, so we'll start by choosing the radio button for the SLC500. Step 3, click on the handy link on the right to launch RS Logix 500. Then in RS Logix 500, open the program you wish to convert and preform a save as. Save you program as a .slc file and then close RS Logix 500. Step 4, now back in the utility use the browse button to select your newly saved .slc file and then select next. Step 5, on step 2 of the wizard, choose the type of compact logics or control logics you would like to convert the program to, as well as the version. Then press next. Don't worry if the exact processor or version doesn't show up in the list. Once the program is converted, you can change it again inside of RS Logix 5000. Step 6, choose your alias options and press next. Step 7, during step 4 of the wizard, you may receive a pop-up syntax error window as we did and is shown below. If you don't get this pop-up, skip ahead to step 10. Step 8, to address the syntax error above, we will select the offending IO lines in this window and delete them, as shown below, step 9, now with the offending lines deleted, to continue the conversion select the save and retry button. Step 10, now the .slc to .l5k translation is complete, as noted in the status log below. To continue the process click on launch RS Logix 5000. Step 11, You'll now see this final window appear as the Translate PLC5 SLC 2.0 utility completes and launches RS Logix 5000 to import your newly translated code. Step 12, 
when RS Logics 5000 opens, you'll be prompted for a save location and name for your soon to be imported project. Step 13 When the code is done importing, you'll see your new RS Logics 5000 project.